Good morning viewers, welcome again to this channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to clean intake valves on this Mazda CX-5. Stay tuned! Just in the shop, getting the chemicals that I need. Okay, let's head home. Now we're just going to remove the wheel to access the crankshaft pulley. to access the crankshaft pulley which is hiding behind the splash guard we have to remove all these plastic clips one two three four and one right behind here using a flathead screwdriver see this one okay before we begin anything make sure the angel is cool to touch and now we are going to disconnect the negative terminal battery Place it aside and remove the engine cover. And to make the process, the cleaning process easier, I'm going to take off the spark plug um, coils as well as the uh, intake tube here. Then we can access to the wire harness clips that attach to the intake manifold itself. and the spark plugs are removed and we can disconnect these hoses one and two using hose nose pliers
Then we can take off the six bolts that are attaching the intake manifold to the engine. The position of the six bolts are right here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And the last one is right underneath, right in the middle. Two long ones and four of the short one. So the two long ones, uh, this one, and right down the bottom ones. And don't forget to disconnect the map sensor um, wire harness from the sensor itself before pulling out the intake manifold, which is right there. ahead and remove the throttle body as well as the intake um, cover just um, to make it easier to remove the intake manifold and now we can extract the intake manifold out of the engine just be careful So this one hose right here attached to this one as well as the oil catch can right here on the engine that you have to pull off this one and don't forget to reinstall them once you put them back all together just want to share with you guys there's so many oil uh, build up around the um, intake manifold see this here see this oil 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 I'm just going to clean this off with the carbon cleaner to let it soak while well, I'll clean the um, intake valves so I'm going to use my um, chemical to soak in um, cylinder number two and number four first because it is now at the closing position I don't know whether you guys can see but it's uh, yeah it, they are closed and then afterwards once they are clean I'm going to rotate the engine to do the number one and number three cylinders. Remember to use gloves while handling this chemical as they are very corrosive.
get your old toothbrush and start working. Check this out guys, this is just one application from one cylinder. Check out this carbon. Look at that. That can be good for the engine, right? Okay, let's go ahead and apply some more. See this one right there guys, particles and all the carbons has been dissolved with the chemical. Look at that. Nasty. Check that out. So now I'm going to rotate the engine to make sure number one cylinder and number three cylinder are in the closed position.
Once you're happy with the result, now we can reinstall back the intake manifold into the engine. Back your spark plugs, then your coil pack, Don't forget to reinstall the splash guard and refit the wheels and refit the engine cover as well as reconnect the negative battery. So now just have to preset the time as well as the radio. Um, so just start up the car normally, let it idle for a couple of minutes, and you should be ready. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and thank you again for watching to my channel and always drive safe and I'll see you again on the next episode. Thanks guys.